okay, um, I'm doing this completely off the cuff. Uh, it's rather unscripted, but I thought, you know, better than nothing. Just put something out there and, you know, at least tell folks what I'm up to and what I want to do with this channel eventually. And sort of keep up to folks updated with, you know, my musical doings. Um, so I don't even actually know who's watching this. Most of my friends, I think. So most people knowing this, <laughs> most people watching this know, you know, that I'm a musician and I'm in a band and I compose or something. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> my main, my main thing right now is I have a, a client who's a composer and I'm her engraver copyist, whatever. Um, it's actually pretty sweet. I just kind of set up a, a sort of a regular contract with this client now, which is cool. So it's like they have enough work for me to where we can, you know, I can just do, agree to do a certain amount of work, which is really, uh, uh, really nice for me because I struggle with motivation and, and self-scheduling and structure. And so having a little contract where I said, I'm going to work this many hours is very nice for me. So it's a major win. That's really cool. Um, I recently decided though that I, I, uh, I'm not going to take on more clients doing that work because I've been doing engraving for five years now um, and it's been my only job or music or whatever has been my only job I guess now for like two years um, I'm still still trying it still <laughs> it's actually you know my business is actually um, it's, it is slowly growing and, and I want to tell people about that too but you know <clears throat> engraving, which is music, a musician's fancy term for, you know, making notes look nice on the page, is, uh, you know, something I've actually gotten pretty decent at for the last five years. It's a definite craft, and um, it's really fun to dig into the nerdy details. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a craft, and I, I do feel like my, myself as a sort of a, you know, not as much of a composer, but, you know, a creator. <laughs> big quotes <laughs> um you know as somebody who also has a vo like a, their own kind of like artistic voice I, I i think that i should limit myself in how much engraving i do and then maybe i don't know i'm hoping that over enough time i can um move away from that and do more arranging which is really i think where my heart is arranging in piano so yeah those are kind of where my heart is i i you know, I did finish my master's in music composition a little over a year ago, very end of 2017. Um, so, and I have written music, but it's not actually most of what I do. I'm finding that my my passions tend to be in um, taking other people's music and doing things with it, which is cool to kind of embrace and realize that, like, I'm you know really I'm a collaborator. I like to collaborate with people on things and create things with people. I do really well when I have some initial seed, in, like a seed of an idea or a creative idea to do something with. Um, I do really well when I have thing, just enough there for me to work with, and I can, and and as both a pianist uh, and and an arranger. So that's going to be the kind of stuff I'm going to be looking more towards going 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 forward. And I feel very happy that I do have a a client that's going to pay me a regular amount of money do something I'm actually somewhat decent at now uh, for the foreseeable future maybe I don't know how long but for a little while anyway um, so my business I want I, I mentioned this on Facebook to some of my friends but I finally registered my business with the state um, I'm calling my business Z clap music there's a cool story around it um, I took on the name Azalea you know a year and a half ago almost two years ago now and I didn't think about it a whole lot. I just liked the sound of it, and um, and my fr a friend of mine started calling me Z for short because like it's easier to yell Hey Z across the room than Azalea. How do you how do you pronounce your name? Um, and so I was like, Oh, that's cool. Z is a cool cool letter. It's pretty rare. And and I I actually was like, I should get a logo. I want a logo. And I eventually came up with a logo. Actually, here it is. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. So it's a Z. Stylized Z, um, and when another friend looked at it, um, a former bandmate actually uh, looked at it, he's like, "Oh, that's a nice little Z clef." I'm like, "Yeah, the dots there are kind of like the dots on a on a clef on an F clef," and so I was like, "That's cool, Z clef. I'll think about that." And 
then at some point that's a great name for a band and so not a band there actually is a band i found there's a band named zeklef but it's a name for a business <clears throat> so i put the, the word music on it to differentiate and it's registered in oregon at some point i'm gonna you know do all that stuff with the government so blah 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 that's kind of a big deal becoming an actual business um you know and eventually going to be filing business taxes and other things that's intimidating and i'm learning the, the road very slowly fortunately you know this is such a low overhead operation that i don't have to think about a lot of things like assets or, or miles or employees um, one thing one major win for this business though was that last year in the middle of the year or so i hired an assistant um, one of the best decisions i ever made <laughs> i'm starting to learn how to like figure out which decisions i should like make that take agency out of my hands <laughs> take a certain responsibility out of my hands and you know this assistant has also proven himself to be like indispensable for the several months i don't think i'd be doing this anymore honestly if i hadn't gotten some help um yeah so if you're doing something like this and you can get somebody to work for you like who, who can just help you organize and keep, help you keep to your schedule and help you think about the long term and just you know give you give you um give you like feedback on your communications with people and things like that like oh get get it get, do it i tell you seriously do it <laughs> i'm also i'm learning how to i'm learning stuff about running a business which is which this is i started reading this book called the e-myth revisited which looks you know it, it's definitely got it's got like 90s power corporate language kind of thing going on at least that's sort of how it feels it reminds me of of some of that stuff but like it's got some really good stuff in there that are you know reminding me that like if i'm gonna have my own business which i ha i am self-employed like i can't be coming at it from the perspective of the technician this person who does this cool stuff this work on the computer like like that that part of me needs to be taken care of but then there's also this other part of me that has to like step up and like actually run a business and be an entrepreneur which i don't you know <laughs> such mixed feelings about it you know it's kind of nice to not it's really nice to not like have to worry about employment really i mean i might if i ended up deciding not to do this i might have to you know have to find a job but like you know i don't have to worry about a lot of things that people with jobs worry like have to worry about um which is kind of nice but also like there's also plenty that's not nice about it i'm doing it because i feel a lot of passion around music and i want to do this and i have the, the, the degree and i'm already making some money at it and so it's like yeah so uh what else is going on with me um i'm practicing a lot of piano it's been really fun several like sometimes a couple hours a day or more um i've been learning to practice a lot better i've been learning a lot about um slowing things down that's been the, the motto for me it's like as i as i continue to release the anxiety that I kind of like learned as a kid, um, which ties into all sorts of therapy stuff. Um, I learned to enjoy the moment more and go, s go a little slower and be a little less impatient and like just be able to sink in, like take a piece that I'm working on and, and really dig into it, get slow, change the rhythms, isolate things, just really be okay with spending an hour on a single measure and enjoying it. And that's like, or spending a half an hour or more on warm-ups, you know, finding new ways to challenge myself, doing weird things with the met with the metronome. Um, it's just really, really fun and rewarding, and my my fingers are just it's so cool to feel when I play. The strength and confidence that's coming in them is really cool. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um, other work that I have aside from engraving is I. Uh, I've had a few clients have me do tango, th have me do tango things. So a lot of my friends will know that I've been into uh, tango music for a while, something like oh, seven or eight years now. And I, I started a band all by myself, <laughs> led that band. Well, no, I sort of co-founded a band, but then kind of shifted into being the leader and solo arranger and uh, too many things on and off for four years and that was really cool but then i co-formed the band with some other folks a couple years ago and that was even cooler because 
none of us was the was the leader i did a lot of arranging but i wasn't the only one uh, we all brought stuff to the band it was it was um cool and like now, now that you know that band has, isn't playing anymore we've all kind of like gone off and done our own things and i think the violinist is is actually living in va right now i'm super envious of her so um I do have um, my band, Osprey Flies the Nest, which a lot of my friends will know about. That band is actually a little over two years old now. That's really exciting. We've, we're on a bit of a hiatus. We haven't actually performed a show since, I think, August of last year, 2018. We lost a couple of members, and then, you know, Osprey, the lead singer, got a concussion, and I had to move again the second time that year, and then I had to move again, and things got just really hard and then we lost yeah we lost we lost a total of two members we lost our bassist who's actually now just our producer which is pretty cool um <clears throat> in um july and then our guitarist unfortunately even though she really like you know loved the music in the band like was not un unable to kind of swing it so you know we're a little bit there's still so there's me and and, and uh osprey and then matt the drummer and we're, we're still, you know, we're going to figure out what we're doing soon. We're going to look for more people to collaborate with and maybe try to create an online presence, you know, on YouTube or Instagram and, like, get a little bit of a following online and maybe open up some doors for touring, you know. So I'll be hopefully doing some more posting from that account at some point because I really enjoy making, like, when I get into it, I enjoy making content to put on YouTube. I hardly ever do it, but once that band is kind of, like, once we're kind of, back in in the swing like going forward and rehearsing and deciding what to do I th we're gonna start i think we're gonna start trying to like have a major online component to it too so that's exciting um and and then i have one client who's possibly gonna arra uh, hire me to arrange a tango piece uh, arrange a piazzola it might be i think it's gonna be a mashup of different piazzola pieces and that's super exciting i think it might be the first time i've been commissioned for an arrangement and then I'm also talking to a trans slash non-binary choir in Portland. I'm not in Portland. Um, Portland is close. And <clears throat> they want to commission me to, to do some stuff too, which is really exciting. So uh, it's kind of cool to, to like start getting a little recognition as an, as an arranger. And I'm just recently I've been trying to like find like what <laughs> Marie Kondo is going around everywhere. Everybody's talking about Marie Kondo. and, and and it's like, what sparks joy? And it's easy to make fun of that, but at the same time, like the things that really get me, like get me excited are arranging. Like whenever I get a chance to arrange for a group, especially folks who are gonna play it, um, I'm just, I'm there. That's why, you know, I was so excited about this band that I that I helped co-form or co-lead co for a little while, the Hardcore and Brass Band. Um, it's a percussion and brass and stuff that's only open to women and trans and non-binary people. I was one of the founding members and I was really excited about it because I could do a bunch of arranging. Um, the other the other founding member also did the, most of the initial arranging, but then I got to do some and um, like I just, so much fun. Arranging just like, it's so cool because it's for me, it's like I take, the idea is already there. I don't have to come up with melody. I'm not the kind of, kind of person who just, like farts out melodies the way some people are <laughs> like i have all sorts of great ideas but they they're usually responses to other people's ideas or sometimes my own you know i've written some really nice pieces that i think had some great seed ideas in them but they kind of just came you know they came you know i wouldn't necessarily characterize it that way either when i had to write my thesis i had to write my thesis <laughs> anyway um this has already gone on 14 minutes and um, there's plenty more to say, but I hope to fill up this channel with some more stuff. I guess I'll say that l last. So this channel, Z Clef Music, um, it's going to be a little dormant for a while longer because I have so many things I want to do. There's, there's the Osprey Flies the Nest channel that we're going to start. Actually, I'll link it because, uh, why not? <laughs> it has more channel, it has more followers than I do at this point, but you know, that's, that's going to be a major project. And then I have a bunch of like non-musical like political things i want to work on on youtube and a different channel too and uh, <laughs> and then there's all sorts of things i want to do in terms of like starting a business and 
like I'd like to get a nice logo. Any of my any of my friends like are graphic designers and like could spend even just a little bit of time like getting me like a nice I don't know vector or even just some sort of transparent version of my logo. Like I pay you for your time. I happily pay you for a little bit of your time. Hopefully, it wouldn't take too much. Um, <clears throat> just to get me some nice graphics because I'm trying to learn graphic design on my own, um, but it's it's hard uh, to try to learn new things when you're already kind of up to your ears and other things you want to do, you know. So yeah, all all this is in the backdrop, of course, of me not having my own current really place right now. So uh, I, this is my mom's apartment. She's like like it's nice. I have a bit of privacy, which is nice, and I have my piano right here and <clears throat> my computer right here I can practice I can you know do a lot of the things I need to do most of my work is at the computer in finale I do finale lessons by the way I've been using it for like 18 years <laughs> seven something like that since like 2002 uh, so anyway that's long enough uh, appreciate to all any of my friends or whoever are strangers on the internet watch this um, you know feel free to hit me up if you want something arranged <laughs>